What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Che Cole. And let's hop into this episode. This episode was not planned. This was, I had something else uh, on the docket, if you will, that I wanted to talk about because coming up soon in uh, the coming weeks, I'll be entering a new series that I'm super excited for that has been in the works for uh, since last March uh, with it being Women's History Month. And, and so I got some some guests coming on and you'll hear about that uh, in the coming weeks. But uh, I really had to kind of hit an audible, if you will, uh, for this episode. And so now we find ourselves in this episode uh, talking about standing firm, standing firm, because uh, I think as with any platform that you have with any uh, venture that you embark on, you must be sensitive to uh, the times in which we're living in and uh, what is happening, what is occurring. And while I won't speak on said events uh, that have taken place, I think uh, it is uh, becoming increasingly important that we stand firm in the word of God, in who we are as individuals, as believers, uh, our personalities, our, our our gifts, our talents, that we stand firm in these things because uh, if you did or didn't watch or listen to uh, the drifting Zoom uh, that, that I did uh, a couple months ago now, uh, I think it is uh, increasingly evident that if we are not secure in ourselves, if we're not secure in who God has called us to be, we will ever so subtly drift away from God's original intent. And I think, you know, given uh, certain events that have transpired and uh, prophetic words and, and, and different things of that nature, it can be easily, uh, not just even uh, within the Christian community, but just society in general, uh, I think it's easy to be uh, swayed uh, to be skewed in your perspective, to be uh, looking at uh, what everyone else is doing or what everyone else is saying and then questioning uh, what it is that you believe, what it is that you have been brought up in, what you have been taught, uh, what you have read in the word of God. It can be easy to uh, shift and, and morph from that. But I want to encourage you to stand firm, not saying that as you learn, as you understand more, like there are probably some episodes that if I go back and listen to of my own, I'll say, ah, uh, my perspective has evolved just because of uh, growing in the knowledge of Christ and growing in my perspective and life experiences to where certain advice I may have given or certain words that I might have said I, I might not have I might not say them in the same way now. Right. So this is not to suggest that you can't evolve in your positions and evolve in your understanding. But uh, there should be core principles uh, that you say I'm not shifting from. I, I'm standing firm in my belief that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Right. Like that's fundamental. I, I'm not shifting from that. Um my experience, my encounters, my uh, method of communication may change. It may evolve a little bit, but uh, we can uh, sit here and say, I can stand firm in the, in the fact that I believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again, and he died for my sins, right? And so having this perspective, because I think, as I mentioned earlier, I think it's, it can, it can become easy to to drift away, right? To drift, uh, to be skewed by um, the secularization of society is, is what I like to call it. The carnality of uh, society in, in just the way that we uh, are being conditioned to think, right? Uh, being conditioned to learn, to appropriate to certain things. And uh, for me, uh, I also look at you know, the historical context in which we find ourselves in, uh, being that this is Black History Month, understanding that from a historical perspective in the African-American community, uh, the uh, leaders in the civil rights movement, the uh, people 
who had paved the way for me to even have this platform, they had to stand firm in their beliefs, in their values and core values to be able to uh, protest and, and boycott certain things, right? Standing firm in their belief system allowed me to uh, be able to uh, do the, some of the things that I've been afforded the opportunity to do. Right. And even from a believer standpoint, because of the work of the disciples, because of the work of Jesus, because they stood firm in their beliefs and their core values. And because it has stood the stand of time, the test of time in that uh, we have upheld core values. Right. To where now we have the, the privilege of just going on our phones even and having access to the word of God where uh, even still today people are being martyred for uh, bringing the word of God or preaching the word of God in in different countries and and we have this access now to where we take that for granted and this is taking a, a totally different turn than I wanted to take this episode but uh, America in our our western view of uh, Christianity. We take these things, these outlets, these platforms to where we are now checking boxes for uh, church attendance and, and serving at our churches to where there are people to this day being martyred right now because of spreading the gospel. And in America, we like to say persecution is coming, but I always suggest that persecution is already here, right? But because uh, we have become uh, so fluid in our approach and so carnal even in certain situations and certain times that we don't stand firm in our beliefs in Christ. We don't even... If I take it a step further, we don't even stand firm in the gifts that God has given us. The moment there is opposition, you're ready to give in. You're ready to throw in the towel. But I want to encourage you today to stand firm, to, to know that God has caused you for this. God has gifted you for this. That what he has placed inside of you, you have value. There is something on the inside of you that the world needs, that society needs, that he has gifted you, he has crafted you specifically to do this thing or these things because you may not have just one gift. It may be something that you're multi-talented, you're multi-gifted, you're able to do these things for the glory of God. But will you stand firm in that? Will you stand firm in, I've been given this gift, I've been given these talents, not fearful over or dealing with imposter syndrome, thinking that no, someone else can do it, or I'm not this, I'm not that, when God has clearly gifted you to do those things. And I think that's why it's so important that we have people in our lives that speak to us, that speak to the gifts and the talents that God has placed inside of us, that see those things, right? Because it can become easy to lose sight of that. The person who's gifted doesn't often recognize that they're gifted because to them they just woke up like that they just woke up being able to do that or they just woke up seeing this problem and being able to fix it and so having the people in your life that speak into your life that say no you're gifted in this area this is what you do I appreciate the gift that is you Whatever it is that God has gifted you in, stand firm and understand that I've been gifted this talent. I've been gifted this thing for the glory of God, and I must use it to the glory of God, right? Stand firm in that. Stand firm in the core values, in the core beliefs that you have. Not being skewed by society or what everyone else is saying, what everyone else is thinking. Standing firm and being rooted in Christ. Y'all got me hyped up already so uh we'll talk about this a little bit further when we come back the scripture for this episode is first corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 it's a long chapter y'all um this is new king james version it's, it reads therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast immovable always abounding in the work of the lord knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Let's read it one more time. Therefore, 
My beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So just a little bit of context. We won't go too far into this, but uh, it's really talking about in the uh, previous verses there. It's talking about uh, the headline. There is our final victory uh, in the New King James. But it's talking about how how quick. Uh, right in 52 it's talking about in a moment the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed right so it's talking and then it goes into oh death where is your sting and and it understand it uh, elaborates on what uh, the sting of death being sin is so really wrestling with uh, our mortality and what happens to believers Right. This is our final victory in death. And so uh, with that, we understand that our victory is given through our Lord Jesus Christ, as verse 56 says. Um, well, 57, sorry. Uh, and then that's where we get into. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. So we understand that. uh in terms of being solidified, standing firm, being secure in our position as believers and our position as Christians, right? That we understand that we have to stand firm, that we must stand firm because uh, our labor is not in vain. The things that we do is not in vain. There are so many different things that will push you away from the word of God, that'll push you, attempt to push you right? Things that happen in your life, circumstances, situations, uh, bosses or or, uh, managers at work getting on your nerves, co-workers, different things in life, your spouse, uh, your significant other, your children, right? These different things that the enemy can use to push you off, right? To knock you off your game. But I want you to understand and really hone in on standing firm in the word of God. Like this word of God is a weapon. It is to be used for your benefit, for your uh, battling in and dealing with all the things that take place in life. If you if we are not properly equipped to use this word of God, to use the word of God then we're lost. We're, we're not able to uh, appropriately and adequately handle the issues of life, the things that are thrown at us to knock us off our game, right? And so, like I said, I didn't want to talk about, you know, the specific instances and occurrences. I'm still searching and seeking uh, different platforms to, to really talk about those types of things because this platform is meant to encourage and uplift uh, the believers who listen uh, to this podcast or watch even uh, to this podcast. And so uh, this isn't the platform to engage in, in, in theological debates and uh, reaction videos on who said what and uh, if I agree and if I don't. I'm still searching for uh, how, how to navigate those types of conversations, because I know for many of you that is of importance, right? But the, the premise, the, the thing that I want you to take away from in this episode is to stand firm, to be rooted and grounded in Christ, Jesus alone, right? If there's any questions about, uh, should you be here? Should you go there? Should you do this thing? Should you join this thing? Whatever the case may be, stand firm in the fact that it's Jesus alone. And if you're unsure, then ask someone you trust, right? Pray first. Pray about it first. Talk to God about it. Ask, what does God's word say about what I'm dealing with or what I'm wrestling with or this concept or this uh, thing? Before you turn to anyone else, turn to the word. And if you still need clarification, then ask a friend, then ask someone you trust, because I think in a world of uh, with everyone has a media platform, everyone is a media company in a sense that it's easy to be skewed and uh, be transformed, not by the renewing of our mind, but by the opinions of others. And so it's uh, increasingly important 
that we do, as the word tells us, to study to show ourselves approved. Not so that I can teach the word of God and, and be on these platforms and be on these these places, but when I go to receive a word as well, when I'm listening and, and uh, listening to different commentaries or listening to other people's opinions on what it is that they're saying or what it is that uh, this text means, I have an understanding. I have come into the knowledge for myself, not saying again that my knowledge might uh, in, won't increase or my views won't evolve and, and uh, my experiences with God as I understand the word of God on deeper levels and come to new revelations that uh, certain opinions and certain uh, thought patterns that I have and hold might not change. It's not to suggest that, but it's to also say that the core values, as I mentioned earlier, I'm standing firm in that. I'm secure in the word of God. I'm secure for myself that I can take a text. I can read the word of God. And again, like I said in some previous episodes, that uh, although I read New King James Version, whatever version it is that you uh, find speaks to you, speaks to uh, the God in you, right? Whatever translation makes sense to you to where you can understand and comprehend God's word, read that version. Read the word of God for yourself so that you can come into the understanding and so that you can stand firm, that you're not tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine or every uh, thought that is uh, questionable or uh, may raise questions for you that may cause confusion, right? That you understand the word of God for yourself and you can stand firm and be rooted and grounded in the fact that I know the word. God speaks to me through his word. And this is the revelation that I have. This is who God has called me to be. These are the gifts that I have. These are the things that he has placed inside of my life. And I'm standing firm and I'm trusting that God. I'm trusting God, Jesus Christ, right? Because everyone's saying God now uh, or, you know, throwing God out there. But nah, just Jesus, please. <laughs> just Jesus. That As for me and my house, it's just Jesus. So that's going to do it for this episode. <laughs> I hope that this encouraged you and inspired you to uh, stand firm in the word of God, in uh, the principles of Jesus Christ. Christ alone is where we're at. So that's going to do it for this episode. As always, make sure you like and subscribe to the podcast on whatever podcasting platform you're listening to it on. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Cold Therapy. Subscribe to the YouTube, hit the notification bell, leave a comment on the video, whatever it is that you feel led to do. Uh, and I hope this episode encouraged you and inspired you. That is going to do it for this episode. I am your host, Che Cole. And until next time, peace.